Hi, I'm functioning nutritionist Vince Pitstick, and this is MMU Education. Hey, if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Please drop me a comment, I'll respond. And if you would, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we make a new video drop. All right, this is an extension of my series on common problems with simple solutions. Um, hair shedding, or people call hair loss. But I wanna stop you with that real quick. Most hair loss is just quick hair shedding that is temporary. Um, so the average person can lose you know, up to 50 to 100 hairs a day. It's just something I want you to be aware of. And also about every two to three months, your hair is gonna go through stages. Um, so there can be periods where you lose 100 to 200 hairs a day. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're balding. Now, if this goes on for a year um, and you're not going through some massive health uh, program or something like that, uh, it might be something you wanna look further into uh, to make sure that it isn't a hair loss issue. Now, most actual hair loss, you're gonna see it heavily more in men, and that has to do with DHT production, but that's a different video. For women or men, they can shed hair uh, for many reasons. For the context of this video, um, there's two main uh, stages of hair growth and loss, the antigen phase of growth and the telogen phase of loss. But at different times, you can take people from the middle phase, which is called the catagen phase, and you can kick it into the telogen phase kind of quickly. The telogen phase is about 100 days of where the follicle sheds, and then it takes about five weeks for a new follicle to then grow and the antigen phase to kick in of growth. Now, the thing that can happen, there are many different factors, nutritional, stress, hormonal, that will kick your body actually out of a middle phase called the catagen phase. It's like the prep phase before the telogen phase. And it will bounce it into telogen and then it will speed up that 100 days of telogen phase. And so you can start to lose, you know, again, 100 to 200 hairs a day. What? I think is important here is let me give you some common quick solutions uh, to really helping you get through this process. Now, we've all heard of a lot of the common uh, products that are out there. So like biotin, biotin's phenomenal. Uh, biotin's really good for the antigen phase though and can be somewhat good for the telogen phase. And so I definitely recommend some, some, some uh, biotin. Uh, there's also like collagen peptides. I like more peptides than protein. Um, we've got a really good one at New Ethics called New Youth. It's got multiple different peptides in there that help with the antigen phase, right? Um, there's other, other ingredients too. Again, your hair really needs a, a lot of different micronutrients or mineral chelates um, to nourish it and keep it growing. So there's a great product out there by Metagenics called Collagenics. Uh, it helps you make new collagen and new hair. But what? Hey, have you ever felt like you've been getting limited or bad advice from maybe your OB or endocrinologist or one of your doctors and don't know why you feel bad and are looking for better options, particularly in the world of hormonal health? Well, I've launched our own medical endocrinology organization called Vital Med. Vital Med has the fundamental belief that we need to listen to you first and provide you with an arsenal of options to make sure that we get the best outcomes for you, but we have your interest in mind. No more just going to the doctor being shoved pills or the wrong kind of hormones or being put on the wrong protocols and then not getting the result that you want. Vital Med has a team of doctors, nurse practitioners, and nurses who really listen and have the up-to-date knowledge to give you the best options for your care with great results. Check us out, vitalmed.com. All of these things are really focused on the antigen phase of production and not about the catagen or telogen phase. So how do we shift and kind of stop some of the loss that maybe we are occurring uh, in the moment? And so there's a couple quick cheats that I'm gonna give you. And the first one is we have to immediately reduce stress. Now, it's not gonna stop it right away. So if you're someone and you're going through something very, very stressful, or you're well overworked, or you're training really, really hard, this would be a good time to back off for a day or two or call a timeout get a little bit more sleep. Um, obviously try to eat a little bit more. A lot of times when people eat, they either overeat or under eat. We'll, we don't wanna try to get that uh, obviously under control. But one of the best tips that I have is both oral, you can take like a Nutrafol or a Collagenics or a Biotin or collagen peptides and all that stuff's great. But the thing that's gonna help in a jam 
quickly kind of stop the telogen phase or at least the catagen phase from turning into the telogen phase is a product called CT Minerals. See, when your body goes to shed, it's usually low in a lot of trace minerals that have a hard time absorbing, that cells need, your hair need, everything needs. So periods of massive stress, you might burn through them if you're working out a lot, you know, not sleeping enough. I mean, these things can happen. And sometimes oral digestion because of a poor gut health or something of the sort, maybe inhibiting those things. So we wanna to try to get immediate um, nutrient um, absorption using like fulvic acid, for example. Also with a little bit of L-leucine, maybe some magnesium, those are, you can take orally, but that's why I like the product from Cellcore called CT Minerals. But the, the trick is, I'll give you a little bit of a trick here. What you wanna do is you wanna take about a quarter capsule of it because you wanna get it in the hair follicle actually. So you want topical treatment. So typically you wanna take a small um, water bottle and if you're doing a gallon, you can use one capsule. Uh, but if you're just gonna put it into a small water bottle, you use like a quarter tab and you'll put it in there and you fill it up with water and you'll shake it up. Then you'll wanna spray it on the scalp. Now, if you keep it sitting, you might wanna shake it up uh, if you're gonna use it over time. And I would spray it on your scalp at least twice a day. Now you can also mix it in with your shampoo. Um, and this is something again, through the humic shale that is in it, you're gonna get all these trace minerals that go directly to the follicle and it can help uh, stop or reduce um, temporary hair shedding or hopefully to make it not turn into chronic hair shedding now. I would also recommend uh, herbal adaptogens like ashwagandha, um, licorice root, uh, as long as Asian ginseng, these also help hair shedding as well, maybe a product like Cordy's. So if you pair something for your adrenals that's stressing out your body, uh, along with something topical and with any of your other hair products, you can help reduce temporary hair shedding. I hope this helps. Hey, thank you for watching the content. And if you want more great tips just like this, go ahead and watch this or uh, maybe this.